I actually considered selling it. I posted it on my Instagram stories for sale. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I have a review and a comparison video and it's also a bit of an eat your words video if I'm completely honest. So I'm going to be giving you a bit of a review of the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso. In doing that we're going to compare it with the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet and I will then give you my opinion and my thoughts at the end and in doing that and by updating you on the recto verso I'm gonna have to eat some of my words because if you guys remember there was a time whenever I was trashing the recto verso every time I showed it in my videos I was telling you that I had bought it thinking that it would be all singing and all dancing because I had planned to put my key on the end of this and put my key inside the zip part and when you do that it makes it very bulky and it makes it sit kind of out of shape which is the one downfall I am going to tell you about the recto verso. At the start that put me off because in my mind I wanted to use it for all of those things but I wanted to tuck the keys in and I actually considered selling it. I posted it on my Instagram stories for sale which if you guys follow me you'll know that I do post things on uh, for sale on my stories every so often and my friend on Instagram Fritzy messaged me and said what are you doing? That is my favourite Louis Vuitton piece. Be careful. Are you sure you want to sell that? So whenever Fritzy sent me that email that really or that message sorry that really gave me some food for thought and made me think am I doing the right thing? Do I need to test this out? I don't want to sell it and then want to buy it back again and pay more for it or have to find it. Am I doing the right thing? Should I at least give it a chance before I think about selling it? So I decided to do that and that is where we are today. And some of you guys have sent me messages saying oh you're using the recto verso now what do you think or what's your opinion now because I had said in so many videos that the recto verso was a letdown and um, now, now I, I'm eating those words a little bit. So let's start with it first. It has, and just check that I have my cards pushed in at the back so as my numbers aren't showing. So I have, there's four card slots at the back and I have all of them used. This, I have to be honest and tell you, I have swapped out of my Victorine wallet now for a would it be a couple of months maybe? Time at the minute can roll a little bit into one but I think it's probably a couple of months. I wanted to use it for a while before I gave you guys an update and before I give you an opinion. I didn't want to just use it once and then say no nah, I don't like that but I wanted to give it a chance to be able to give you a proper review. So I've been using it for a couple of months. Once I swapped India from my uh, Victorine wallet I haven't came out of it and I'm going to be completely honest with you I haven't even thought about coming out of it. I think I probably enjoy using the Recto Verso a little bit more than the Victorine wallet and if any of you have watched some of my videos before you'll know why that's causing me pain and it's because my husband and my children bought me the Victorine wallet for Mother's Day last year and I'm a very very sentimental person and they don't, my husband doesn't buy luxury um, so that is the only piece of Louis Vuitton they've ever bought me or he's ever bought me or any of them have ever bought me so that weighs very heavily on my heart from a sentimental point of view and it makes me feel a bit guilty almost for saying that I'm probably use, enjoying using the Recto Verso more but if I'm honest with you I think that's probably the honest the honest outcome of this to be honest uh, to be honest to be honest so I have my cards in the back and what I am doing at the back is I have the four cards that I would use most in here I haven't doubled any of them up that's all that I have I like to be honest I like having them accessible like this at the back of the wallet I thought that I wouldn't. I thought that I would feel that this was very unsafe and insecure. I thought I wouldn't like seeing them at the back and I would think about, you know, people lifting them out or whatever. But I've actually really liked it. I find it really easy to use and I like the aesthetic of it. So I am really eating my words over here today. Um, in the zip compartment, I have extra cards which I just noticed one that I was looking for. I didn't realise it was in there. So I have a little bit of cash in here. I have, what else have we got in here? I have three other cards and I have some receipts in there. 
and you can see from having the cash in there, the, ex the three extra bank cards and some receipts, the shape of this is fine. Now you can see it's getting slightly thick but it's not bulky, it's not going all skew whiff as I described it, it's not out of shape and that pleases me. What I didn't like about it is this hook for your key fits inside the zip and it, whenever there's nothing on it, it sits inside the, the zip absolutely perfectly, absolutely fine. It doesn't misshape this. And when you open it, open it, as long as you tuck that down, it doesn't stop you getting in and out to your cards at all. It doesn't inconvenience you, doesn't get in the way. If you put a key fob on it, now the key fob that I was putting on it was my car key. If you put a key fob in it and when you put it in, this, this becomes a mess. This goes all over the place and it's very, very bulky. If you were putting a single house key, for example, on this and you set it in at the side, it would be okay. It, it wouldn't impact this. I have tried it with a slim single house key and when I set it down the side of this, it was fine. Um, it, it was really fine. Oh, I know there were no problems with it at all. I tend to what I have been doing. I have been leaving this out and when I left it out, my intention was when I was grabbing my car key, I would put my car fob on it and carry it out, which I have done. But I have also been using the hook to carry it like this. Like if I'm in shopping or in the in getting groceries, I have been grabbing this and carrying it like that, which um, I know it's not what it's designed for, but I have been doing it. And I've been, if I've put my car fob on it, I've kept it outside of the zip. I haven't tucked it in. It's just too bulky for me. I just don't like it. Um, this little space down in here is another little space that you can push things into. I have in it, if I could get it out. All that's in mine is the little textile card from Louis Vuitton. I haven't actually put anything in there. What I have done is if I've been in doing the shopping and say it's grocery shopping, so whenever they give you your card back and you put it in here and the receipt is the long receipt, rather than holding up the queue and struggling with the receipt and folding it up and getting it into the zip part, I have been stuffing the, literally just stuffing the receipt into this bit until I've got home and then dealing with the receipt later. So that has been quite handy for that. I hate that feeling when you're at the queue, at the, at the, at the till and there's a huge queue and you're trying to sort out your change and sort out your card and sort out your receipt. So just putting it in there and going has, has been quite good for me. And then in this little um, envelope part here, I have six loyalty cards. So the loyalty cards that I would use on a daily basis, the one that I don't have is my Brown Thomas uh, loyalty card because one of you guys gave me the great idea, don't know why I didn't think about it earlier, of keeping a separate purse for euros and one for sterling. So I have my Brown Thomas loyalty card in a separate holder with euros in it, but there are six loyalty cards in there. My driving license is actually in there as well, as maybe poking out. And I put those in there. And those are the ones that I use most often and they're really easy to access in there. So they sit like this and whenever I have, this is the one for the, the garage. So I have been taking this out, using it, slipping it back in and you can see how easy that is. It's not cumbersome at all and that's how I've been using it. And that is everything in there. And I have actually, actually really been enjoying it. I like using it. I like having that little spot. I don't need those extra cards all that often. I like having my cards in the back here. And I like being able to put my car key on that whenever I have needed to. So overall, I actually think this is actually a really good piece. Now it's expensive. It is an expensive card holder, but it's probably more a mini wallet than a card holder. And I think the price reflects the usage more of a mini wallet than a card holder. When I bought mine, it was £400. I'll check the up-to-date price and I'll put it on the screen just to make sure that I'm not misleading you. But I actually have been enjoying it and this is the thickness that mine sits at. The one thing I will say is when I bought this, I thought it would do everything and I thought this car key was going in there too bulky. I, I don't like it. I just don't like it. <sighs> then that takes us to the Victorine wallet, which, as I say, was a gift. So it was very, very, very sentimental to me. The first thing I'll say about this is I absolutely love the rose ballerine colour against the monogram canvas. I really, really like it. My button is absolutely perfect. There is no wear on it at all. 
And when I used this, I had my cards in these slots. Uh, they have loosened slightly now, but when you first get this, the slots to put your cards in here are quite tight. And I did have a couple of times where it took me a minute struggling to get my bank card in and out. But they have lo they have loosened slightly. They would still sometimes stick, but it, because of the way of the world, it hasn't had that much usage. So I wouldn't really hold that against it just yet. I like this slot in the back to put your cash in so your cash is in without being folded but again we're not probably using cash that much at the minute but I do like the cash in there. I also when I used this one whenever we were talking about that incident at the till the cash went in here and I would have just stuffed the rolled up the receipt and stuffed the receipt in there as well and used it and worried about it later and then in these two there is a side pocket here and a side pocket underneath here. So you can slip more cards underneath the slots in here. And I have some of my, um, there's my Chanel Essays card. And then I have a Louis Vuitton card. I have another Chanel card, have a Ted Baker card. And I have those, I have those in the back there and they fit in there perfectly. This one holds quite a lot. So you have your six card slots here. I have never doubled them up. I've never needed to. And as I say, because mine was quite new, it is quite tight and I didn't want to stretch it too much and stuff them in. But there is ample room to get those cards that are in there. You could get a lot more in there. You could extra cards in there. So this one does have quite a lot of capacity for cards for a small wallet. It's not obviously a long wallet if you have lots and lots and lots and lots of cards, but this for me would definitely hold all that I need to hold and that would be my bank cards, my spare cards, my loyalty cards, everything that I showed you in here fit in here without any difficulty. Then the cash goes across here and receipts go across here. The one thing that I have found about this wallet most frustrating, aha, uh -huh, I have, is this zip. So it has this little zip compartment to put, look how tight that is. So in there at the minute, I have the little textile cards, but this is meant to be to put your cash in. So if you're getting your change, you put your coins in there. Now mine is still very, very new, so it hasn't been overly used, but it is tight and it can be tight getting the coins in and getting the even getting the coins out. Like if you know there's some coins in there you want to use, it can be tight. This one, whenever I have had this and haven't had my coin purse with me, I have put any coins that I have got just in there. Now, if they're just in there, they're gonna be just as annoying trying to get out because although this one isn't as tight, there's a lot more in there. So you're still gonna be hogging about to get the coins. I suppose I probably haven't had coins as much with this one because of the world as I did with this one, but just that zip and that it being quite tight annoyed me. And the other thing that I will say annoyed me slightly because you know I'm always very honest on this channel is this, see this little bit of leather on the tab? Now it's very pretty and the zipper is smooth, but it can curl a little bit and I don't like it curled. So I found myself kind of when I was, when I was putting this closed, I would kind of tuck this in and then tuck it in whenever I was closing it. So was it kept inside and didn't curl. I didn't particularly like it when this happened. Now this is just personal and very picky and completely aesthetic. It doesn't impact the wallet's use, but I don't like this sticking out here. Don't like that. So if that was happening, I would be opening it up again and tucking it in so as we're back to looking like this. So that is the overview of the Victorine wallet and the Recto Verso. <sighs> Eating my words definitely in the Recto Verso because I actually really like it now and I was so close to selling it. I think I actually said on a few videos I was going to sell it. When you compare and contrast these, they both, they both, I, I, I don't want to say it and you know what's coming. 
They both do the wallet function. This one obviously has the added function of the key, although I just caveat if it's a car key, putting it inside is very bulky, but it can put the key on. You could put all of your keys on this and not need to carry your key holder if you're happy for them to be outside. I still carry my uh, four ring key holder, even with this, just to be completely honest, because my car fob doesn't go in the four ring key holder. So this has the added element of the key. This, the zip is tight for getting your coins, but if you had the other, if you cards in that one like I do, getting your coins out of there would be a bit annoying and a bit fussy. But I suppose there would be the option. The cards that I had in there, I have just slipped every single one of them in there. No, it's not. Let's, let's be uh, quite thorough. It's not falling out. So they're tucked into this little part at the back. They're not moving. And that would leave this completely empty for your coins and it would be much easier to get your coins in and out of there than it is to get them in and out of there. Now, because I have a round coin purse that I carry, I'm not too worried about the coins on either of them. So I'm gonna put my cards back in there for the limited time that we're getting coins. We're not using cash very much at the minute. I really like this as separate for getting your loyalty cards. The equivalent on this one is my loyalty cards were tucked in behind here. I find it easier to get my loyalty card out of this envelope pouch than I did from getting it in out of in there. So that's probably easier as well. If we're being very, very in depth and thorough, this has a brass button. This has the rose ballerine button. The rose ballerine button will no doubt at some point need to be replaced from where the, the brass button should last longer. The only thing I'll say against that is the brass button on my agenda from Louis Vuitton is currently back at Louis Vuitton being replaced because the brass has peeled off it um, already and that's not with a huge amount of use. Um, looks wise I actually like the look of the Rectoverse so I know some people don't but I actually like it aesthetically I like the cards at the back of it I prefer the rose pink inside of this one I really like the rose ballerine color if the black on the back was rose ballerine I would probably really like that although you would see marks and see dirt on it more so you have to weigh that up both of them are very, very good pieces, but in my gut, and I'm fighting against saying it, in my gut, I'm probably coming down on the side of the recto verso, which because of where this came from, let's put it this way. If we take away from this, the fact that my family bought it, I would have a much easier job in telling you that I would be coming down on the side of the recto verso, and I would probably let this one go for this one. And I never, ever thought I would tell you that. One, because I am so sentimental and my gut's still telling me this, but also because how much I disliked this at the start and I'm totally eating my words on it. So you know that this is pretty honest review because I was, I was against this. So for anyone that is considering either the Recto Verso or the Victorine wallet, I hope this has helped. If you're still considering the, Re the Victorine wallet and don't like the look of this, this is still a fabulous piece. The only things that I'm saying is just that that zip is quite tight and you are getting your additional cards out from in here. The zip, I would say, would hope, would loosen up over time. Mine hasn't had a huge amount of use, so I will just say that. But in the end, oh, didn't drop up. <laughs> In the end, I have to say that I have ended up really loving this and really enjoying using it, which I was not expecting. So thank you so much for watching. That is my review of the Recto Verso comparison with the Victorine wallet. I hope this has been helpful and given you some insight. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.